for wine weirdos. Christopher. Let's check out the 2011 Caliza Syrah out of Paso Robles. And we're talking Carl Bokers, the winemaker. Mm -hmm. 15 and a half alcohol, $54. So more of a premium Paso wine. Yeah, and boutique, 200 cases produced. Yeah, and we've had a lot of Caliza on the show. So this is one we're really looking forward to. It's got that dark neon purple in the glass. What's it doing on the nose, Christopher? That dark neon purple is carrying into the aromatics just Graphite lifted, lifting the darkest, plummiest fruit you can get. Templeton Gap to War all the way through with calcium rounding the edges of the aromatics. Mm -hmm. What's it doing on the power? I'm really enjoying the tannic structure on this. There's a nice grip to it. The fruit is very young, but there's some really nice winemaking mm. going on here. When the oak and the heat fully integrate on this, I think we're going to come alive with a serious, serious Syrah. 2011, pretty good vintage here from what I'm what I'm tasting. What are you feeling here? Yeah, this is this is built to age, and it's it's built for integration. Yep. That calcium that was on the nose, it was a halo around the no the aromatics, mm -hmm. is penetrating. It's the calcium and the tannin are integrating. The mineral and tannic angle on this is super structured. Mm -hmm. Give it about five to ten years to fully work itself out with the fruit. Mm -hmm. Just succulent fruit, just precise, just polished fruit mm -hmm. rounding it out incredible high quality fruit then that dusty sort of mm -hmm. tar and leather thing that's coming alive on the secondary the i'm really excited the boysenberry on the back palate is just sick lush. it's like i just so took a, a a bunch of fresh strawberries and mushed them in my mouth crammed them yeah just amazing incredible. we we've always enjoyed Kaliza, but this seems like a particularly special vintage of the syrah we'll be back with more on wine weirdos cheers, cheers.